In 2002, the government of Kenya introduced free and compulsory primary education. A huge vulnerable group that did not fit into the free education bracket was left out. These children from poor backgrounds are left alone in the homesteads because their parents cannot afford daycare or caregivers. This leaves a trail of suffering and mental torture for the children as they are left all day without food or care. In slums where poverty and suffering is the order of the day, true heroes emerge. Wazazi wengine wanaona mtoto kama huyo kwa sababu amemchoza. Sasa yeye anaona afadhali aende shughuli zake, awachana na huyo mtoto akae kwa hiyo nyumba kwa sababu ameweka maisha hiyo mtoto amechukua tu hata kama ni Mungu kumchukua acha amchukue. Lakini kama huyu wangu mimi nilimtilia manani na nikasema kwamba siwezi waacha huyu mtoto kwa sababu ni maumbile ya Mungu na Mungu ndiye alinipatia. Lazima ni mtunze na lazima atakaa kama wangi kama wangi. Songa Mbele na Masomo is an education center operating in Mukuru slums for the poor and disabled children, providing them with an opportunity to develop. Seeing the love and care of these parents and seeing their inability to access any type of education or any type of development for their children, this center was started for them almost five years ago. We decided that this land should be used for the most vulnerable of all. That is the children born within these neighboring slums who have handicaps of one type or another. At the daycare special unit, we have children with conditions like cerebral palsy, autism, think about also epilepsy. We have children with retarded growth and uh, also learning difficulties. In the center, we have two major programs. One is a feeding program and two is a medical program. We take care of these children during the day, we feed them, we clean them up. For those with medical issues and they need to see a doctor, we also come into some cases and help with the medical bill. Once the children are here, at times we can bring the government officials from the Institute of Special Education, we can bring other parties here to assess the children and see what exactly their handicap is. So from here, the children get a chance to be sponsored. We have also the special needs teacher. The special needs teacher takes care of these special children in terms of academic learning. Shule mesaidia mtoto ni kwa sababu huyu mtoto wakati nye alipuanga kama badu mdogo alipuanga na jikunjanga sana hata mguyo wezi uwezi nyoroka na hata mkono ikupuange na nyoroka. Lakini wakati anya tumemuleta kwa ishu hile wamemufanyisha mazoezi naona saizi mungui na nyoroka, mikono ina nyoroka naona hata shingo yake ima imaaza kwa kwa muka. Hata kwa saizi niko na imani ni kiendelea kumuleta kwa ishu hile naona hata mikuyo yake ita ataanza kusimama. We have another team of two who we call transport mothers. These ladies transport children from their houses. Though we expect the families to transport children to the center every morning and to pick them in the evening, there are some families who cannot afford that because of other engagement. Wazazi wanaendaka mapema kasi, ndi unaendea watoto na nawarutisha. Nafukanga mitaru, peke yako, una mtu ya kusaitia, hiyo ndiyo shida. Nafuraia ya kifanya hii kasi, ya watoto wale mabu, sionangi vibaya na pepa tu. These children have special diet. And this special diet goes without saying it will be more expensive than any other meal that you will offer any other child. Some of them can't swallow very well, they can't eat rough food. Others have a problem, they have an allergy to foods. So the children are more delicate, even in physical health, than normal children. We try to respond to the needs of children loitering in the streets. They dropped out of school. Some have never been to a school. So here we give them a coaching. We prepare them. We integrate them back to the mainstream schools around. We want to give a, a chance to every child that uh, he or she has a right to education. I'll go up. I want to become a farmer. Kwa mkubwa nataka kuwa pilot. Kwa mkubwa nataka kuwa pilot.
pilot kuenda zema nchi zingine. Naka kuwa mkubwa ni taka kuwa dakari. When I grow up, I want to be a musician and footballer. I like football and music. My favorite footballer is Wayne Rooney. I love helping children and seeing them grow and become. For me, it's a joy and an achievement. Like here, you see the gospel. You see the lame walking. You see the deaf child talking. You see the blind is helped to see through Braille. It's wonderful. Songabeli Namasomo Children's Centre takes care of these children with special conditions. And uh, unfortunately, we are not capable to take care of all the children, even in Mukuru slums here, because of our capacity. Ours is a daycare for special children. Some might be willing to come, but walking to the centre every morning and going home in the evening might be a challenge to some. So if we had uh, such centres, in uh, different areas and especially in the slum areas it will be very very beneficial to the children this center has continued with great hardship these children need a lot of support they need wheelchairs they need crutches they need loving teachers special education teachers and normal teachers they need physiotherapists and the parents need a lot of parental education the parents also need economic supporting so that they can care for their children. I'll be very happy with anybody who offers to help this centre. Every child deserves a future and a chance to reach their potential. We all have a role to play to put a smile on every child as there is enough to go around. We were all children once with dreams about a beautiful world. These children have dreams too. Let's help them fulfill their dreams. Yeah.